hi welcome back to the channel so in this video I need to go through this box which is full of crocheted items so you've seen I've done some videos where I've got into crocheting and in here are some items that I've crocheted some amigurumi some little toys I've made some keychains some projects I haven't maybe necessarily finished um, so I'm going to go through here, see what items are finished so, so that they can go into my shop and see what little projects I just need to just put final touches to and get complete. So we're going to go through this box. So I thought whilst I was doing that I would record and show you guys. So without further ado, let's jump straight into this box. So as you can see, you can see some beautiful looking things in here let's jump straight into this one so this was a dinosaur that I made um, I did it with like fluffy blanket yarn this was a free pattern that I found on online that was the first time I've ever made something like that but that is a complete project so that is finished so that just needs pricing up then we'll jump into these because I actually need to get these out ready but these are little pumpkins I made I think that was the first one uh, came out a bit too fat a bit weirdly shaped but you can still tell it's a pumpkin and as we're now in October I need to get these out and on the shelves so that was my first pumpkin and this was a pumpkin kit I had and I think I made three of them so I made these three pumpkins so they're ready to go they just need pricing up and they're all sort of different shapes and sizes but when you put them together they look like a nice little pumpkin bundle we'll look at these next so I saw this pattern online for this flower coaster so I made these and these have been pressed as well already and I got a bit hooked on making them and trying them in different colours so they're just little simple coasters and I made them in a variety of colours this one I've done with a thicker yarn so it did come out smaller but otherwise they're just cute little coasters that one I think was done in a different yarn so you can see it's slightly smaller but I'll just bag these up in cellophane bags individually and then people can choose whichever colour and then they can just pick and match their coasters so that's a bunch of coasters that need just bagging up what have we got next let's jump to this so this was a kit of a hippo um, the arms are a bit weirdly placed I mean that this is the hardest bit when I found doing these like stitching all the bits on I think the legs were part of the pattern that you went up but the arms had to be stitched on the head had to be stitched on um, yeah it's my little hippo so he's done bit of a weird arm but hey, that was my first big project as well. Then I made these frogs. I got a bit hooked on making these frogs because I thought they were so cute. So I've got a couple of them. I've got this green frog. So he's complete. Then I've got one in pink. And this again was a free pattern that you can find online. And then I've got another one done in blue so they're complete what else have we got then I got this I think again this might have been a free pattern that I found online and I got a few of these made so the birds and again depending on how much stuff you put on depends how fat the birds are so I don't know whether to make these just leave these as plushies just like that as they are or whether to put like a keychain hook and have it as a bag charm and how many of these I think I've got three of these then so they're my three little chicks 
that I made so I just need to decide whether to leave them like that or to turn them into bag charms so they're done that's a I can't even remember what that's supposed to be but that's not a finished project clearly this is a finished project this was a kit that I had and it was done with quite a thick um, yarn and it was quite hard to stitch and you had to stitch all the bits together but that is finished um, but yeah that was a lot of work went into that again can't even remember that might be a tortoise can't even remember what project that was supposed to be then I started making these chicks so that's a half complete one you can see he doesn't have his beak do I have a complete one in here so there there's a complete one so you can see when it's complete a little chick and it has its beak on there but that one just needs until it has its beak it looks a bit weird but that's a small one that's a bigger one and I don't know if I had any more we'll see if we come across any more so that's complete that one's not complete literally just needs a beak so I just need to crochet that on so that's an almost finished then don't know what I was starting there got a little bee so it's a purple and yellow bee I didn't have believe it or not a black yarn so I couldn't do a yellow and black bee but I tried the pattern with the yellow and purple so that one does just need a keychain hook put on then you've got these um, what do they call them are they little sharks or whatever they are and I've probably got a few of these in here but that again these are going to be keychains so these just need a keychain attached to it this was a uh, from a kit an Amazon kit I think one of the videos I've got in my playlist um, that was one from the playlist um, from the kit but again do I leave these as plushies or put keychains to make them you know like as bag charms so yeah I'll decide what to do with those then I've been well that belongs to something <laughs> then I was making these bigger octopus so you got you see like I got the little one that's the little one then I was making bigger ones so the smaller ones do I turn them into keychains or do you just have them as small ones but I think I might have a few of these all like different sizes so maybe the smaller ones would be the keychains and then these ones would just be as plushies but I've got a few of these I think in here yeah let's see that one I don't know why I haven't finished it off there I was just trying it in different yarns there's that one look I did it in that thicker yarn that made the other pattern in just to see like depending on the yarn depends on the size they come out he hasn't got any eyes uh, I think that's it so that one just needs literally finishing off um, but these ones are done Oh, there's another chick that just needs the beak going on. This was my first ever Amigurumi project. You saw that I didn't quite do the shell correctly. Um, I wasn't um, aware of the you know the front stitch, back stitch. I mean, it was still cute. I will still try and sell it. Um, and this was an Etsy kit that you saw that I reviewed but I'll still try and sell that and then look at these this is the loaf cat I don't even know if I want to sell that because that is so cute so I've done it in this big blanket yarn so it comes out as the big 
cat but it's just like the plushie but you can do these in all different yarns and make them really cute and then I did a small version in again a different yarn so it came out smaller so that could be like a bag charm oh this was from one of the Amazon kits an unfinished project I think this is supposed to be a dinosaur I think that's what that project is uh, again unfinished project I think that's a lion's head I've done a strawberry that was my first strawberry that I I made so that can just be a keychain I made a that was my first ever octopus sort of plushie but I put too much stuff in in and it's a bit weirdly shaped if you look compared to that so that might be a bit of a fail I might just undo that and get the stuffing out because it doesn't look right does it so that's a bit of a fail again I can't even remember what this is supposed to be that might be a dog or something can't even remember oh another little shark but he's got no eyes so he needs his eyes putting on I thought I made more of these but clearly not because these actually are quite quick to make then I made like a crab and I can't believe I haven't made more of these either but you have to do all the like the little feet but there's my crab and I was going to do these in all different colours but you know before you know it you get busy or I see another project and then a little pig's head which would be a bag charm and I think oh and apart from that if I decide to turn that into a little octopus um, keychain so when I put them like that you can see how many crochet projects I've made that have just been sat in a box doing nothing and not getting use out of them um, so I'm gonna sort these out price them up and get them ready to go into my shop especially like the pumpkins because they could be selling now for October I mean if anybody wants to buy them if not I love pumpkins and I'll keep them myself um, but yeah I could try and sell these I mean that I think has come out I love that and I loved making these so I just need to do final touches on these put the keychains on and I've got a load of items to sell that I just crocheted for fun um, just I, because I was getting into trying a bit of crochet and these were fun to make too so I hope you've just enjoyed just seeing my little crochet projects i hope you've enjoyed it if you have give the video a thumbs up thanks for watching and i'll see you soon bye